What's up guys, this is Marcus from Studio One Expert and today I wanted to have a look at showing you guys my absolute top macro that I use. It has to be my favorite macro out of all the ones that I have. And it's actually a really simple one. So what I'm gonna do here to show you is I'm gonna go ahead and close my console for a second and let's just go ahead and zoom out to something like this. So what this macro does is actually just something visually. I just have named it zoom to fill, but what it actually does is this. Now, if I was to open up my console, it would do this. So what it does is it gives me a full vertical and a full horizontal resolution of all the tracks that I'm working with at any given point in time. So for instance, let's say that I'm zoomed in super close and I've got my console closed and I'm working on a particular area, a particular section of this song. Let's just pretend that there's some waveforms here. I've just created some dummy tracks for the sake of demonstration here. But at any given point in time, I can default and return back to like a full view by just doing this shortcut over here. So, and actually it's not just a shortcut, it's actually a macro as well. So let's go in and let's dissect this macro. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna open up the uh, macro tap panel over here. And then I'm gonna click this wrench icon and uh, now I'm gonna click the macro organizer. And then you can see at the very bottom here, I've got zoom to fill. So let's go ahead and click the edit here. So now here are the commands that I've strung together. So the first one is an edit and I'm selecting all. Then I'm zooming full into a horizontal resolution, and then I'm zooming full into a vertical resolution, and then I'm deselecting all. So I've strung together these commands. So in order to do this uh, manually without a macro, we'd be looking at something like this. So first thing I'll do here is I'll maybe just shrink this down and let's do this here. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm doing a command A to select all of the tracks that I have here available in the arrange window. And then from here, I've got two different other commands. So there's an option S, which is uh, zooming everything in the full horizontal spectrum. And then I have an option Z, which is zooming everything in the vertical. And then I can do that again, and then I deselect everything. So there's actually you know four commands associated with this but I always like to have a bird's eye view or I like to be able to very quickly return to a bird's eye view so I can get my bearings. So if I've zoomed in and I'm working on something super close, I can just get my bearings really quickly. And especially when you add the whole console to the equation, then I like to be able to just do that really quick. So it's a quick F3 and then uh, this, this command shortcut, this macro that I've created, which allows me to view everything at a really, really quick glance. Now this becomes even more powerful if you've checked out my video on creating scenes. If you haven't already done so, I'm going to include a link in the text of this article, but I'd suggest you go ahead and check that out because when we start using scenes, one of the things that happens when we use scenes is that we have some blank space that's left. So if I go over here, uh, you'll notice that I've got blank space under all these tracks. Here I've got some blank space and the same. So on all these groups here, where I've set up my scenes, I've got one for vocals. We can keep our eye down here, right at the very bottom, or in fact, I can click here. I've got an all tracks, I've got a drums, guitars, keys and synth, and vocals. So as I'm scrolling between these groups using another keyboard shortcut that I've created here, I'm losing uh, some, some real estate in terms of viewing. So what I can do is with this key command over here, this very quickly allows me to compensate for that. So now what I can do here is here's the all tracks. I can move into the drums can go there, okay, now I can go here or here and I can do I can do this, this command here, this macro to be able to see everything at a quick glance. So it becomes very, very, very powerful when we combine these two. I don't think I'm gonna necessarily step through how to create the macro uh, from beginning to end, but what I will do is I'm gonna include a download link in the article so that if this is something that interests you, then you can download it and you can use it and I hope you get as much use out of it as I do. And I guess I should mention that the key commands that I've chosen to map this out to is an option command Z. And uh, that just seems really natural to me. It's really easy and I use my three fingers on my left hand. So I use my pointer finger for the command. I use my ring finger for option and I just slide my middle finger up to the Z. So it's actually a really, really quick keyboard command for me to do. And it's kind of muscle memory now, so I can do things very quickly. So as I'm moving between all these different scenes here, you know, I can scroll back between them all 
and it's very easy for me to see everything that I need to see. So anyways, I hope you guys find this useful, and if you do, I'll make sure that you're able to download that macro. So I hope you guys got something from this, and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.